Megan the Stallion Savage, official lyrics and meaning. So we can curse on this? You can say whatever. Okay, yeah. When I heard the first curse word, I was like, oh, Turn the <laughs> Megan. Yeah. Hey, I love the new record. Megan the Stallion's bossy attitude and sensual nature helped launch her to the top of rap's female elites. And in her third single off her debut project, the Texas native holds nothing back. Welcome to Lime Report. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple products giveaway. From 2016 to now, Megan has worked tirelessly to make it to where she is today and the release of her debut project, Suga, she claimed her stake in the rap game. While Megan is known for overtly sexual lyrics and dominating style, what most don't know about the newest queen of rap is that she actually comes from a family of lyricists. With the fundamentals of rap instilled in Megan at an early age, her lyrics hold more weight than most seem to realize. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at Megan Thee Stallion's smash single, Savage, and what she really meant to tell us with the song. Keep watching to understand the real meaning. You won't want to miss this. Megan Thee Stallion made waves in 2016 when she stepped on a rooftop in her hometown and laid down a smoldering verse on the Houston Cypher that went instantly viral. After further developing her sound and social media presence, she gained a mega boost by signing with local Houston label 1501 Certified Entertainment. While inking the deal granted Megan the financial backing to finally mass distribute her music, the deal would prove to do more harm than good later on in her career. Fast forward two years and Megan revealed last month that she was in a messy legal battle with her label. With much back and forth going on between the two parties, Megan said that the terms of her contract were not clear to her when she signed with 1501, and when she asked to renegotiate, she was barred from releasing new music. Prior to the dispute, the artist and label were gearing up for the release of her debut album, Suga. However, after she realized her contract granted full ownership of her music to the label, she wanted to renegotiate before releasing her first major project. Soon after the barricade put up by the label, Megan took legal action and decided to sue the label, seeking the termination of her contract, and while the decision has not been made on that suit as of yet, the judge granted Stallion a temporary restraining order against 1501 Entertainment, allowing her to release the new music. At this point, you may be wondering what any of this has to do with Meg's latest single. Disputes like this don't happen overnight, and with tensions rising between Meg and her label, the deepest clues to the truth lie just in front of us. Stay tuned as we reveal the true meaning behind Meg the Stallion's latest viral hit. Megan the Stallion released Savage last week as the third single to promote her highly anticipated project, Suga. Though she had hoped to drop the project on May 2nd, her late mother's birthday, and claim it as her debut album, the legal battle with her label forced the star to rush the project and release it as an EP instead. While she and fans were excited to be able to experience her music together again, Megan was quite unhappy with the way the situation unfolded and made her displeasure with her label clear on her social media. On March 1, Megan claimed that her label, 1501 Certified Entertainment, was blocking her from releasing any new music after she requested to renegotiate the terms of her contract. The next day, she sued 1501, seeking to terminate her deal. A Texas judge granted her a temporary restraining order against the label, allowing the album to be released. Tight and satisfying, Suga is a reminder that Megan is who she's always told us she was, even as she grapples with what it means to be herself in public. Thanks to the restraining order granted by her judge, Megan was able to continue releasing music as her legal battle ensues. With a green light given, Megan released her project on March 6th. The two other singles were received well by critics, Savage was a true champion behind Megan's album. With a catchy flow, hard-hitting lyrics, and a viral dance challenge for that added value, Savage is clearly the best track on Megan's newest project. The lyrics, while of course provocative, tell another story as Megan takes us through her world. In the song, Megan paints herself as the hood Mona Lisa while still celebrating her complexity. Throughout her first verse, Megan explains to the audience the type of woman that she is, what she does to men that she doesn't like, and how she feels about ex-lovers. While at face value the lyrics make Megan seem shallow, the lyricists inside her wrote the lines knowing only the most astute students of the game would be able to understand what she really meant. On the surface, the lines of the first verse read out as an egotistical brag, yet a deeper dissection of the lines brings a clearer picture into view. Megan has never been afraid to use her sexuality and express herself. In the first verse, she is explaining how she truly feels toward those who she believes needs them. I would never trip on a if I had him. That's my trash. You the maid, so you bagged him, Meg says at the end of her first verse, punctuating her thoughts toward anyone she's had a past relationship with. While the chorus of the track is relatively simple, it gets Megan's point across effectively. I'm a savage, she exclaims in the hook. 
classy, bougie, ratchet, sassy, moody, nasty, acting stupid, what's happening? Deceptively simple, the hook is a reminder of the type of girl Megan is. Born and raised around Houston's battle rap scene, Megan Thee Stallion has always held an air of confidence around her and flaunts it in her savage lyrics. To cap it off, she ends her hook with the acting stupid, what's happening threat, meaning that if anyone were to try and oppose the rapper for her true self, she's willing to settle any beef the correct way. As the lyrics continue to show us the calm and collected yet equally wild side of Meg, the overall message is clear. While Megan Thee Stallion is the artist in the driver's seat, Suga is Meg's vulnerable side, bearing all that she can to her fans. Experimenting with a sensitive side can be embarrassing on its own, but doing it in a public setting takes serious gusto. And with the way Megan has been moving these past four years, the body of work she's put together in her career thus far promises a future of both an electric debut album as well as a long and successful career if she plays her cards right. Megan was introduced to rap early by her mother and fell in love with it instantly. During their life together in Texas, Megan's mother, Holly Thomas, was an aspiring rap artist known by the name Hollywood. Opting to take Megan with her to the studio sessions rather than pay for a babysitter or daycare center, Megan's mother unwittingly developed the young girl's dream of becoming a rapper herself one day. At the age of 16, Megan decided to tell her mother about her dream. When she revealed to her mother that she wanted to rap, Holly required that Pete wait until she was 21 to pursue rapping as a career. Her mother, although impressed by her daughter's rapping skills, commented that her lyrics were too suggestive for her young age and that the wrong kind of attention could end up ruining her life. When Megan finally decided to take her talents to the pros, her mother was with her the whole time. Once Megan launched her career, her former rapping mother became her manager, helping the young star navigate her way through the trials of the music industry. After her clip from The Houston Cypher went viral, Megan knew it was the right time for her to make moves in order to ascend up the ranks. Grinding on to build her following on social media by posting freestyles, she was able to build a hyperactive following she endearingly refers to as hotties. With her craft perfected thanks to her help of her mom and the nice following she had built up, Megan was poised to take the musical world by storm and did exactly that. One of Megan's greatest attributes aside from her rocking body and hard-hitting lyrics is the strong voice she's carried in the hip-hop community from the jump. While the fight against her record label for a fair deal that she busted sparked a nationwide debate about when and how artists should be asking for better deals, Megan Thee Stallion's flow and style branched from Southern rap and her domination of the genre is a breath of fresh air in the mostly male genre. In addition to becoming the leading voice for the fair and equal treatment of artists, Megan has also been very outspoken against the hardships women face in the music industry, hip hop specifically. A man can be as mediocre as he wants, but still be praised, she stated. A man can talk about how he's about to do all of these drugs and then come shoot your house up. But as soon as I say something about my it's the end of the world, the rapper said in an interview with Mary Claire magazine. Although it's true that in recent years, we've seen a surge of female rappers, it's true that much of the time, what they're allowed to rap about seems pretty minimal. From the surface, it seems to be an issue of women wanting to be able to delve deeper into their sexuality. However, to Meg, it's much deeper than that. To her, men seem to be afraid of the idea of a woman being powerful. In her short time in the rap game, Megan has made it a point to be an ally to all female rappers currently being successful. And while she has the influence, Megan said she wanted to ride for all the powerful women out there while continuing to make her mark on the world. When Megan first decided to make her debut, she came onto the scene with a fury that no one had ever seen from an up and coming rapper. Blurring gender lines as well as most boundaries in rap as she blazes a new trail, Megan Thee Stallion has become a front runner in the latest wave of female artists, and as she continues to refine her craft, the sky's the limit for her young career. Never afraid to let her voice be heard whether it goes up against the current status quo or her own record label, with the splash Megan Thee Stallion has made throughout the first five years of her career, it's going to be interesting to watch what she does next. Due to the legal battle with her label at the moment, Suga was only released as an EP and she's yet to have her official debut. While we don't know what will become of Megan and her career once the battle is over, we know for sure that she will continue to find a way to deliver her music to fans until the dust settles and she is able to thrive once again. What do you think will happen to Megan The Stallion? Will she win her legal battle, terminate her contract and find a label that will treat her correctly? Or will she be forced back into a bad deal until she's able to leave and search for a new deal? Thanks for joining us today on Lime Report. Before you go, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway. How money's made. They don't know, you know, what... Yeah, so I mean, you know, I, I, I still work, I perform, and I'm just up there and I'm like, yeah, looking at everybody. <laughs>
<laughs> it was so it was weird for me because I got, I got money. <laughs> right. And this but and the dispute is mostly about recorded material and that sort of thing.